little old gal. Been trying to find a feature to stick to her aging belly. Figured she'd live a bit longer if I could. Appears to me she likes this. Ah, appears. Appears is what fools you. It appears like she likes to eat grass, too. But you just put a fork full of alfalfa down beside her and then see what appears. Hey, Dave! Give me a hand! I need your help! Please? I'm busy. I'm taking care of a customer.
So, you're off to see your mother. Yeah, she keeps writing to me, asking me to visit, how she misses me, you know. Where does she live? Oh, in the Rockies. The Rockies? Where exactly in the Rockies? In a small town. In Colorado. That's only the Latin area. Mm. How about you, Ella? You asked it. Why are you asking? Are you thinking of showing me next month at the county fair? <laughs> <laughs> uh, ain't going to be no fair on the roots of it. A couple of Hank Peterson's horses come down with a fever. One of them's almost dead. The other is just a sign of it. You noticed any fever symptoms? Horses seem all right. Uh, that's okay, then. Peterson's, why, that's just 30 miles from here. Now, it's not to worry, Ella. Government vets have uh, been all over that Peterson ranch. They quarantined the stock, and they sprayed every inch of that spray. It's all under control. Not I can see. You've got nothing to worry about. Well, that's a blessing. And there's blessings so rare nowadays. I'll show you that one dearly. Uh, Yeah. And by the way, uh, I understand there's a runaway loose. A girl named Stacy. Stacy Winslow. Police said keep a lookout. Right? I'm sure if she wanders in here, you'll take good care of her. That's right. I see you. She's safe out there. Let Stacy be for a while. She needs time. Time for what? Time to think. Maybe even to blow off a little steam. You gonna send me home? No. You're not? That's what I said. Seasons change, time passes, and People are free to come and go as they please. Celebration. 
Thank you, sir. I haven't had a chance to thank you for letting us know about Stacy. There's no need. You haven't left. There's some chance for that to the key to ranch here. Hey, your daughter's doing fine. You can rest easy. She's in good hands. Thanks. Can I ask you a question? Never ask permission. A friendship doesn't need fancy talk. Your husband, Ben. What happened to him? He walked out that door. He said, Goodbye, Ella. I'm going to the oil fields. 30 years ago. Uh, I think he'd had a belly full of me and home steady. You never heard from him again? I got a postal card from Oklahoma City. It said, Still looking for oil. Yours, Ben. Not even a wish you were here? Not even that. I got a letter from Barbara yesterday. Your stepmother? Yeah. Anything interesting? Same old stuff. What's that? I know. How much she loves me. And she says she understands how I feel. She's trying not to take my mother's place. She just wants to be my friend. All that kind of stuff. Well, that doesn't sound too bad. In fact, I wish Ben would write me a letter with all that kind of stuff. You still love him? Well, let's just say love keeps on going. Whether it's the love of a man for a woman, or a woman for a man, or a mother for a child. And I'll tell you something else. There is another kind of love. A love that never asks for notice. It's like a window in a darkened room. It's just waiting for someone to come along and pull up the shade and let the light in. You mean about me and my family, don't you? It means whatever you want to take it to mean. Yeah, I know. I hate sleeping in the stall. Oh. Is that a trick? That's a trick! Boy, I bet you know a whole lot of other tricks. Come on. What makes a horse want to lie down? 
Well, if it was hot and tired, it might lie down and roll in the grass to cool off. Or if it was giving birth, or if it was sick, or... There's nothing wrong with red, is there? No, nothing.
Yeah, that thinks nothing. Let the boys at the government lab do all the thinking. I just run these here blood samples over to them. I'll have an answer early tomorrow. Is it fever? Say, Mr. Peterson's? Uh, maybe. I'm not sure. Uh, symptoms are too general. I'm telling you the truth, Ella. Too attached to that animal. What happens if he's sick? Depends what he's sick of. If it's what I think it is. We have to shoot him. Shoot him? Why? It's the law. What law? It's the law of the range, Stacy girl. Diseased animals have to die so the rest can live. I won't let you shoot him! I won't let you, you hear me? I won't let you! Don't shout at me, Stacy. I'm not your stepmother. And I have no mind to cuddle you as if you were still a little baby in a crave. Sideways, Ella. That red horse is infected. The swamp fever. He'll have to be shot. You used to be more subtle when you were younger, R.B. It used to take you at least a week to tell me if one of his stock had to be killed. We don't have a week, ma'am. In a week's time, that fever could kill half the horses in this county. That bad? That bad. That horse got to be put down right now. We take care of our own out here, Mr. Wilson. And I'll thank you kindly if you'll take your leave now. R.B. will tell you that I'll do whatever has to be done. Thank you, ma'am. I'm terrible sorry. I know, Mr. Wilson. So don't fret. I'm standing for you. The horse goes down today.
stairs away from that horse. You won't shoot him. I won't let you. Get out of my way right now. Someone to pull off the shade and let the light come in. Mm -hmm. 